वेलकम टू पॉजिटिव एथिजम इंग्लिश चैनल टुडे वी आर इन द लास्ट एपिसोड ऑफ लीव्स फ्रॉम गोरास लाइफ रिटर्न बाय डॉक्टर शर्मा मल्ला वेस्ट जर्नी टुडेस आवर एपिसोड इज ऑन एथिजम इज ए वे ऑफ लाइफ गोरा एट द एज ऑफ सेवेंटी इयर्स एज ई लुकड बैक ई हैड एन एक्सपीरियंस ऑफ नियरली फोर्टी फाइव इयर्स विद द एथिस्टिक आइडियालॉजी वर्किंग फॉर इट He started with godlessness and now he is thinking in terms of positive atheism. Positive atheism is that which considers the individual free. Theism is the expression of the slave mindedness. Atheism is the expression of free will. There are several discussions whether the man is free, but the discussion itself is conducted with the sense of free will. In ambivalent human nature, we have got the slave mind and the free will mixed up just as love and hate coexist the expression of the free will will promote the atheistic attitude individuals or institutions or cultures are more atheistic or more theistic according to their expression of the free will early civilizations were theistic the expression of theism but a slave also used free will for working in the daily life still the slave mind shifts the responsibility to something which it considered to be superior to him as god so in terms of that god the slavish attitude has come to mean theism after some time they took up rationality the idea of god was discredited and so systems of life came in the theistic attitude shifted the responsibility to economic order to a political authority to nature law to the theory of evolution to causal logic to traditions and this is the godless theistic part of modern civilization from the very beginning man's practice of life has always been atheistic because everybody needs some amount of freedom to eat to drink or to talk so the atheistic attitude has been in practice though theoretically man disowns freedom and holds god responsible for his life Therefore man can be honest and very progressive if he takes the atheistic philosophy along with the atheistic practice marxism which is essentially a materialistic philosophy is also theistic in as much as it holds the circumstances responsible for man's life so marxism also requires atheistic correction gandhism needs atheistic correction in the sense we have to use the atheistic language to explain satyagraha both of them need an atheistic correction to make them atheistic both in philosophy and in practice the practice is already atheistic but the philosophy also should be atheistic this attitude of atheism this atheistic way of life is necessary more for the backward countries asia and africa and even because they are ancient these countries have grown into the sentimental habit of theistic attitude Goras world tour showed him that the Africans are not backward in indulgence but it is a theistic habit that holds them back their mind is not open when gora was in america he found how the women's liberation movements also are rebelling against some of these family norms the unwed mothers have got social prestige there unlike in india they find the family system is breaking the woman also is asserting herself in freedom the system of family is breaking that is possible because there is a social security there why does not india also develop a social security that is because the common people are no more useful than to be laborers in factories or soldiers in war or voters in democracies they are very lazy because they shift the responsibility to the politicians atheistic attitude encourages the man to take to responsibility for himself one should be responsible for the perpetuation of untouchability or poverty or slavery atheists cannot complain to whom can they complain when they are free there is no complaint for atheists if there is any disorder anywhere the atheist must take the responsibility on himself or on herself and go to solve it the backwardness in asian and african countries can be traced to the theistic attitude of religious worship India need not grow through all the process of paganism though christianity protestantism and so on even the middle east countries the arabs have become iconoclastic muslims in india they still have the animal sacrifice they are still in that pagan stage they have animal sacrifice with the highest philosophy of advaita 
it is a mixture and so it is necessary that india should grow atheistic immediately the spread of atheism will solve the problems of india and of all the backward countries sometimes at meetings they look at gora with a declassing attitude and some of them tell the audience at the meeting that gora is a good man though he is an atheist if gora is good he is good because he is an atheist gora is good and he is active so no concession should be shown to atheists atheism should be accepted as a necessity for progress atheism in this sense means that we take full responsibility and do not shift the responsibility to god circumstances or to the government or to any natural law after all what is natural law natural law is the expression of our experiences we are the authors of the natural law there is no law as such in nature natural law is only our interpretation of experiences and the face of the natural law changes when we have fresh experiences or when we have greater depth of understanding so there is nothing like natural law as such in nature that is our interpretation our understanding gora said man is the measure of things that way we have got to understand atheism the atheistic correction is necessary and the propaganda of atheism is the way out of all our evil war starvation degradation hatred racial prejudice all this can be solved only with the atheistic ideology there is a great endeavor india will grow atheistic and secular unless it becomes secular there will be a great distance between hindus and muslims both hindus and muslims must convert themselves into humans The growth of secular idea is possible only with the atheistic ideology. Gandhi himself first thought in terms of communal harmony between Hindus and Muslims together, each tolerating the other's religion. But a few months before he was assassinated, he said that religion was a personal matter and he appealed to the Indians to create a secular state. And this secularity is possible only with the atheistic outlook. Secondly, we can awaken them only with the propaganda of atheism, Gora said. So, atheism is not simply a philosophy of life, but it is a practical program for awakening the backward nations. Atheism teaches freedom to every individual and out of freedom, more equality grows due to the social adjustments. And so, atheism is the need of the hour and the force of the future. And here ends our episode. Thank you. For more videos, please subscribe to our Positive Atheism English channel presented by Dr. Samaram Multi-Channel Network, which is nearby 20 crore views. Please like, subscribe and share our videos. And for notification of our new videos, please click the bell icon. Please download Samaram Multi-Channel app and watch your favorite channels from your mobile. App available on Google Play Store and subscribe to the channels.